Disney vlog. Today we are headed to the Magic Kingdom and I booked my bus for this morning for 10 o'clock and I'm nice and early this morning so I've got myself a Joffrey's from here in the hotel lobby. So I'm just having a nice relaxing start this morning. I've got Genie Plus for today so the first expense for today was $15.98 um, for my Genie Plus. I've got Peter Pan for around 1pm I think. I think Jungle Cruise was the only thing that was already at like 5 or 6pm or something like that. I don't know what is going on with that ride. It is always always like really really booked up and really busy it's not one of my favorites so i really don't get it personally but that seems to be the one that fills up first in terms of return times and the one thing to bear in mind when you are getting buses from off-site resorts to the magic kingdom specifically so this only applies for the magic kingdom no buses other than disney buses are allowed to take you right to the park entrance so if you are coming from an off-site hotel you will get dropped off at the ticket and transportation center and you will then need to get a ferry or a monorail i think you can actually still get a bus but not many people do that i would get the ferry or the monorail over to the magic kingdom so when you're booking your time just bear in mind it's going to take you some time to get the bus from your off-site hotel to the ticket and transportation center and then transfer onto a ferry or a monorail to get across to the magic Magic Kingdom. So definitely getting to Magic Kingdom is the one that takes the longest from an off-site hotel and that is one of the big disadvantages with the Magic Kingdom because you can't get taken right up to the main entrance. When you're going to the other parks the off-site buses are able to drop off fairly close to the main entrance and Ubers and things like that they can drop you off pretty much right there at the main entrance but not for Magic Kingdom it's a little bit different in that respect. But yeah I just thought I'd mention that because that is quite a big factor if you're in an off-site hotel because um, it does just take you longer in the morning to get there and I don't know what's on the agenda as far as the rest of the day in Magic Kingdom we'll obviously make some more Genie Plus return times we'll have a wonder we'll eat some snacks I think the people mover is down that's not good hopefully that won't last all day but just to have a nice relaxing time I love the Magic Kingdom I should mention because I know I'll get questions about these ears they are from an Etsy store that no longer exists unfortunately but I always get loads of people asking about these I just still wear them they're tangled ones and they match with this outfit perfectly this is one of my play suits that my mum made and I just love this as a combo but yeah unfortunately you can't get these anymore and this is my little location here in the hotel lobby just having my Joffrey's it's a very nice hotel lobby actually very relaxing and chilled lots of comfy places to sit and I am absolutely living for this TV channel it's what appears to be some kind of like 90s church program I'm not quite sure what's going on but it is entertaining me nonetheless so I'm at the halfway point of the journey. I've just arrived here at the Ticket and Transportation Centre. The bus arrived about 10 minutes late. Um, supposed to be on the hour. It was about 10 minutes late. It took about 20 minutes. I think it was about 22 minutes when I looked at the time to get from the hotel to here. They did pick up at one other hotel as well. I think sometimes they pick up at multiple places. Sometimes they just pick up at the one hotel. You never really know until the day. He also did just mention that you don't need a reservation for coming back. You just need to come to the bus stop, make sure you're there 10 minutes before and you don't actually need a reservation so that's what it tells you on the piece of paper they give you that you have to book a return time but apparently you don't according to him so the information has been a little sketchy in regards to these buses in terms of what the hotel tell you and what is actually the case but it's been fine and when I get over to the Magic Kingdom I will let you know the exact total time that is taken from leaving the hotel to getting to the Magic Kingdom so you guys know for your reference if you're staying off site just to give you an idea of how long it could take so this is where you'll come to if you've arrived by car as well if you're arriving by any outside transport at all whether it's an uber your own car or a bus from an off-site hotel this is where you'll come to so then it's telling you obviously you've got the monorail to epcot you've got trams to go back to the parking lot and ferry boat and monorail to the magic kingdom which is what we want and you will also go through security here as well so that by the time you get over to the magic kingdom that is done and you can just scan your ticket into the park that security check was the most thorough i have ever had i think um, and loads of people were getting called to the side to have their bag checked including myself i don't have anything different with me today than i do every other day normally i just walk right through if you have an umbrella always um hold it out in front of you take it out of your bag i did that um, and it still went off she said it was the fan and my power bank because they're both batteries and that's why it got checked but it doesn't normally get checked so i don't know that's weird and it's been a minute since we've done the ferry boat so i think we're gonna go over on the ferry 
and I think that probably was around 10 minutes that I was there at security it could have been a little longer so we will see what the overall amount of time it was to get from the Wyndham to the Magic Kingdom I've got a feeling it might be a little while because all of this process does take some time and here is the ferry boat sometimes it does look like there's a massive line for the ferry but it does have quite a large capacity so don't always be put off by that sometimes in the morning like all of this will be full of people but as I say a lot of people can get on at once either way I think it's nice to try both at some point to get across and there in the distance you can see the castle I'm excited to get over there Okay, we have arrived at the entrance to Magic Kingdom. I've just checked the time. It's taken exactly 59 minutes from getting on the bus at the Wyndham to getting here to the gates at Magic Kingdom. Oh. You just need to allow time. And if you are staying off site when you're planning your day, oh, we're going into the darkness. When you're planning your day and you're planning those return times and everything, if you've got Genie Plus, just bear that in mind. Don't make anything too early. And then you're not gonna be able to actually get over here in time. It's things like that you just need to think about when you are in your planning stages planning your day figuring out what you're doing it just maybe takes slightly more thinking about if you are staying off site just to make sure that you do leave yourself enough time I've just made myself another return time for Haunted Mansion even though I haven't ridden Peter Pan yet it's been two hours since I did the last one so I was able to book that and I'm gonna get myself some early lunch because I haven't eaten anything yet today and I've just mobile ordered from Pinocchio Village House which we haven't done for a while and the cost of that was 21.05 so we'll add that to the total so I'm gonna go and have that and then it should be time to ride Peter Pan hopefully then and then afterwards Haunted Mansion and we'll see where the day takes us from there. Also I don't know if I remember to mention it originally I had the 10 a.m. bus booked and I changed it to 11 because I wanted a little bit more time I'm not sure if I said that earlier or not but anyway just to be clear on times um, that's what I did this morning. I'm just walking up through the Emporium because the Festival of Fantasy Parade is happening outside. In a second I'll kind of duck out and we can watch a little bit of it. The Main Street is quite busy so it's just a bit easier to walk up this way and I believe this cup has been extremely popular it is the Starbucks one with the kind of purple iridescent 50th thing going on which is 49.99 kind of pricey in my opinion but it is nice oh, there's Tiana I don't think I've seen this lounge fly before. This is really nice. This might be my new favorite. During the summer months, rather than them wheeling out a rail of jumpers and sweatshirts and stuff, they wheel out anoraks because it is rainy season, so you might need one of these. Okay, so I just snapped a couple of pictures there at the castle before the uh, sweats kick in too much. I know that's not pleasant, but let's be real here. In this weather, by the end of the day, you're normally not feeling that photogenic. And I just ran into Kelly and Scott back there who were on their honeymoon. So hi to you guys. Thank you so much for saying hi. And also being extremely careful because guess where we are? Yes, it is <laughs> the dreaded spot of the falling over in May. Just gonna cut through here rather than going where everybody else is walking. Very glad I got a return time for the mansion, obviously. I can't be here without doing that. It's my fave, as you know. Okay, let's check out our time. I feel like this is always the benchmark for us knowing how busy it is in the Magic Kingdom. It is the standby for Peter Pan. 85 minutes. I mean, that's pretty normal to be fair. I would always try and get a return time for Peter Pan, to be honest with you. It is such a short ride. Waiting 85 minutes, I cannot say that I think it's worth it. It is so quick. So if you're using Genie Plus, definitely try and get a return for that. Okay, let's get in here and pick up our mobile order. Hi. Hopefully we'll be able to find somewhere to sit because it is fairly busy. And on the menu here at Pinocchio Village House, they have several different flatbreads. I'm getting the street corn one, which sounded really good. They also have chicken strips, Caesar salad with chicken strips, a plant-based cheese pizza, and 1971 meal, which is an all-meat flatbread, garlic knots, fountain beverage, and a 50th cake pop. And the decor in here is actually very cute. I do love the theming. Okay, so we have our food. That did take quite some time to actually collect it, so just bear that in mind as well. But nowhere near as long as it would probably take to get in line and order. 
So mobile order is definitely the way forward. And I have the corn flatbread. I do also have some fries because this is breakfast and lunch. I am very hungry right now. <laughs> and I also just have a bottle of water as well. Okay, let's give this flatbread a try. The fries are nice, they're just fries, but this looks very interesting. It wasn't cut up, so you will have to get yourself a knife to um, cut it up yourself. That is good. It's not spicy or anything like that. It's not very hot is the only thing I will say as in temperature. Um, it's a little bit like lukewarm, but for a flatbread that's fine. And just for information, the fries are not that hot either. But as long as you don't mind, that quick service can be a little bit like that in the parks. That's one thing I have experienced is the food is always quite nice, but sometimes it's not that hot. Okay, all done with the flatbread. It was pretty nice, as you saw. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but it was fine. And now it's time to go and ride Peter Pan. This area is not looking too bad today. This can be very, very crazy around here. So this is quite pleasant walking around today. Ah, love that. And just to give you a heads up, quite literally, when that ride stops temporarily and then gets going again, make sure you are not leaning back because you smack your head on the back of the thing. And that happened to me twice. <laughs> so just be careful of that. But now our time has come. There is room for one more. So one of these days, you never know, we might actually get to stay. Oh, that sounded a bit weird today. <laughs> I think that might be uh, malfunctioning somehow. I love this attraction so much. I love how it looks on the outside. I love riding it. I love everything about it. I love learning about it. I have a book about it. One thing I'm not a huge fan of, if I'm totally honest, is the Haunted Mansion movie. I don't feel it was Eddie Murphy's finest hour. That would be coming to America. The only thing about doing Lightning Lane on this ride is you do miss out on the queuing area, which has got some cool interactive stuff, but I have done that a few times before. I'll try and link an old vlog in the description where you get to see that. I am your host, your ghost host. I will lower it for you. And heed this warning. The spirits will materialize only if you remain quietly seated at all times. Please remain seated in your doom book. We will proceed in just a moment. We've stopped right on the bit with the cold running chills, so we've got air on us. That is everything. Love that. This is the best place to stop. Spooks have interrupted our tour. Please remain seated in your doom book. We will proceed in just a moment. These playful spooks are on fire today. We only went a few meters and we're stopped again. We have been unavoidably decayed. as always when I first got in there into the like beginning part and the stretching room for ages I was like I can't see what was going on I had my sunglasses on um obviously classic me I'm really feeling a bit under the weather today to be honest with you like really not great at all and I'm almost feeling like I might actually have to leave I've been really lucky my last few trips I haven't had any days where I felt like sick or anything like that but I yeah I really I don't feel good so I might have to exit I'm thinking I might go over to the contemporary or wilderness lodge see if I can revive myself and then I could always kind of come back but yeah I am struggling a bit I'm just really not feeling very well unfortunately I was fine this morning it sort of started just before I got to Pinocchio village house and yeah ever since then it's just been getting worse and worse and worse so I think that might be what I might do when you're feeling really bad pressing on and trying to carry on it can be a really big mistake because you can just feel worse so yeah I think I might do that <laughs> that is interesting headwear for sure we got some connect four going on here with some cast members love that I absolutely love the castle from this angle. This is the bridge going across from Liberty Square back to the hub. 
really good place for a photo. My usual go-to if I was feeling this unwell would be to go on the people mover and just ride it around and around and around. But I think I'm actually feeling too unwell to even do that. So that kind of gives you an indication of how I'm feeling if I can't even do that. Yeah, just walking through here back down towards Main Street, it's really not that crazy at all, especially considering I think there's a parade going to be happening soon. So maybe it's just not a super busy day here in the Magic Kingdom. It's certainly been easy enough to get return times for rides and stuff. So it's goodbye to the Magic Kingdom just for now from a very, very brief visit. It is such a bummer that I have to leave. It feels really wrong leaving when I've only been here such a short amount of time. But you will know when you're done and you've got to go or if someone's not feeling very well in your party or whatever. Yeah. It happens. I'm just gonna go and jump on the resort monorail just to get over to the Contemporary. You can walk it, but if it's warm and the monorail is really quiet like now, then you might as well just go and get a monorail. Okay, we made it. I'm gonna go right down to the bottom level where they have a Joffrey's. Just get myself a tea or something. I think that's what I need. And this is the Joffrey's location. So it's down on the same floor as the lobby, right at the front of the resort. Oh, I've never seen a guava and cheese Danish. If I was not feeling unwell, I would definitely get that, but I cannot stomach anything like that at the moment. <laughs> oh, they close at three and it is 2.59. I just made it with a minute to spare, that was lucky. And my peach iced tea was 3.89. And once you have your drink, if you go up one level, this is where you check in for California Grill. It's actually on the top floor, but you check in here. But this is one of the best places, as you can see, for just chilling. There are couches everywhere, it's very quiet, so it's just one of the best places. This is where they have the convention space. So I'm now back downstairs by the Joffrey's location. I finished my drink and everything. I was just having a little sit here, just contemplating what to do. And I just, I really am not feeling good. I know if I try and get back out into the parks, I'm just gonna feel the same again. I don't know what is wrong with me today. You know when you can't really pinpoint exactly what's wrong, but you just don't feel very well. I feel a bit kind of sick and I don't know, I just don't feel good. But I think I'm just gonna jump in an Uber here at the Contemporary and head back for now. Hello everyone and welcome to the next day. Now, as you can probably tell, what happened yesterday is I got back in the Uber from the Contemporary Resort and I just went to bed. I felt so unwell. I don't know what was going on yesterday. I don't know whether it was the heat or jet lag or tiredness in general or whatever it was, but I really did not feel very well. And like I was saying, that's very unlike me. I've been lucky the last few trips and I just haven't had anything like that. So yesterday's vlog is gonna roll right into this one. We are gonna have two days in one vlog and we're off to Animal Kingdom today if that wasn't already obvious and I booked the bus for 9am this morning I had a little bit of time so I'm just having a little Joffrey's what I'll do is put yesterday's total for what I spent on the screen now and then we'll start again today starting with my Joffrey's coffee I'll put the cost of that on the screen now to kick off our day with what we end up spending today I do also have Genie Plus for today and I did record myself doing that this morning so I'll insert that now okay we're at 8.02 I'm sorry about the lighting on the screen no. let's just see where we are with flight of passage so it's now at 5.20 so I think we better snag that pretty quick. Okay, so that was 14.91 for that. And also I had 15.98, wasn't it? I think for the Genie Plus. I think I'll make the first one for Navi River Journey. Okay, so we've got Navi River Journey for our first one. I do want to ride Everest as well today. However, that does have a single rider line. So I'll go for Navi River Journey. I didn't get to do that the last time, maybe not even the time before, because it's always had a long line or I haven't had Genie Plus. So there we go, we're set for our first couple for the day. I was a little bit worried about getting the return for Flight of Passage. As it was, as an off-site guest, the earliest I was able to get it was for like 5 p.m. So I do think if you're off-site, you are gonna struggle to get those early return times for like lightning lanes and stuff. Hey everyone, it's future me. I am just editing this vlog and I just wanted to add something that I don't think I fully covered or said in the vlogs. So just to avoid any confusion. So the Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista, which was the hotel I was staying at, that is considered to be one of Disney's partner hotels or official Walt Disney World hotels. So I'm gonna do a whole video, I think, on the partner hotels. It is a very, very confusing area. You of course have Walt Disney World resorts, which are owned and operated by Disney. You have the Swan and Dolphin, which is kind of somewhere in between. It's not owned and operated by Disney. You then have these partner hotels or official Walt Disney World hotels, which are several of the hotels by Disney Springs and a couple of others dotted around on Disney property. And then you have Good Neighbor hotels 
hotels, which is an entirely different thing again. So I will do a whole video just explaining the differences because it can be very, very confusing. The partner hotels, which the Wyndham is one of them, there seems to be a lot of confusion out there about what the additional perks actually are. Now, as it stands at the moment, and I will say this can always change. So always make sure you check before you take your vacation. It does change quite often and you don't want to kind of rely on something that isn't the case. But at the moment, the situation is, if you are staying in one of the partner hotels, you get the 30 minute early entry into the parks, the same as people who are staying in Disney World Resort. However, if you are staying in an actual Disney resort, which is owned and operated by Disney, you will be able to book individual lightning lanes. That's not Genie Plus, that is the extra kind of individual ones beginning at 7 a.m. If you are staying in the partner hotels, like the Wyndham, you cannot book those at 7 a.m. It will be at park opening the same as everybody else who is not in a Disney resort. The other thing I just wanted to clear up for Genie Plus, and this information was difficult to find and there is a lot of confusing misinformation out there. So anyone who has purchased Genie Plus, whether you're in a Disney resort, a partner hotel, in a villa, a completely different off-site hotel on iDrive, it doesn't matter. Anyone who has Genie Plus for the day can book their selections beginning at 7 a.m regardless of where you're staying. Now that information, as I say, was difficult to pin down. Since Genie Plus first came out, some changes have been made here and there, but at the moment, as of me recording this little segment, which is the beginning of August 2022, now I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to clear that up. I will try and do a full video on all of this. The other thing is, I believe if you want to have the 30 minute early entry, you do have to link your booking to My Disney Experience, I believe. Now for the purposes of the trip that I did, I actually didn't link my booking and I treated it as an off site hotel. Kind of the point is that I wanted to show what it was like staying off site so I didn't link my booking and I didn't use the early entry. I just wanted to clear that up just in case anyone was a little bit confused but I will try and do a proper video on all of the differences between all of these hotels because it can be very confusing when you are trying to book a hotel and navigate all of that. It does depend on park opening time, it depends on the time of year, it depends how busy it is. There's so many different factors so my experience is not necessarily going to be the same as what you may have but I did just want to show you kind of exactly how it works and exactly what my experience was just to give you some kind of idea but I'm really enjoying my experience so far other than my little hiccup yesterday not feeling very well um, but staying off site is absolutely fine obviously the buses you do have to book them which is just something to bear in mind but the experience has been really nice this hotel is really nice I love having my morning Joffreys before I've even set off that is very very nice and I should mention these ears are magic maker ears again so I will link them in the description and there is a code for you guys to get a discount I love the ears from that shop and I do have a new play suit on today which my mum made very very suitable for Animal Kingdom and perfect with these ears okay the bus is here but you do have to drink your coffee before you get on I've got about 10 minutes to drink it so he's not leaving until 9.02 you only have a two minute grace period otherwise it will go okay we are on the bus and I should just mention as well the last two days they have checked the QR code the first day he didn't so you do need to have your QR code because they sometimes check it and they sometimes don't I just double checked with the driver and he said that the buses back are every 30 minutes past the hour so we will try and get the bus back today to see what that experience is like I don't think you have to book a time you just turn up and here at Animal Kingdom the stop is really like right at the entrance it's super easy pretty much the same as getting dropped off by a Disney bus I'm sorry I'm just crossing the road let's not get run over unlike at Magic Kingdom where obviously you don't get dropped off anywhere near the entrance here you do so that's actually nice and easy well hopefully it will be we'll see later and right here is the Uber and Lyft drop off and pick up again right by the entrance so if you are ever getting an uber it's nice and easy from animal kingdom one of the plus points of getting up early is that it is quite a pleasant temperature in the morning i am not a huge fan of getting up super super early but this is actually really really nice and it does give you a bit of time in the morning when it's not super hot because as soon as it gets to maybe i would say like 11 onwards it does really really start feeling very hot i'm not too worried on this trip because i'm just here by myself but just a little bit of advice if you're traveling during hot times it can be quite good to get an early start and stay in the parks later and take a midday break maybe go back to your resort or to one of the hotels or something but yeah it does get hot in the middle of the day for sure i actually find it's hot just at around 3 or 4 p.m. for the most part. Okay, that's interesting. We just did security. I have the exact same items on me today as I did yesterday, and I didn't get called for a bag check today, but I did yesterday. Who knows? It seems very, very random. But yesterday's security did seem like particularly 
strict I would say at the ticket and transportation centre more so than it has been anywhere else. Over the last few trips I've really realised how much I do love all of the different parks in a different way. If you've been to Disney before you'll know what I mean but they all have their own special kind of feeling when you walk in like Magic Kingdom is something totally different to walking into Animal Kingdom but the excitement is the same if that makes any sense but it's just like in a different way. Oh I flashed blue there when I went to scan in and I thought what have I done have I got the wrong park reservation for the wrong day but I did it again and it was fine so I don't know I thought I'd messed up there for a second. Oh my gosh there's a bit of a crowd is this Kevin or is it divine it's divine we need to find Kevin today that is an absolute priority because we did not see her last time and you know I love her. Divine is also awesome though let's have a look. It's very easy to miss Divine because she does blend right into the trees. I think I'll take a couple of pictures as always. Like I say, it's good to do that before it starts getting too hot. I'm just gonna pop into here because I saw on someone's Instagram yesterday at Disneyland Paris, Sam it was actually, I will link her channel below. She had a spirit jersey from Disneyland Paris that looked amazing and I'm just wondering whether Disney World are gonna get the same one. So every single day now, I am gonna be just looking in the stores to see if they have one. It's a pride spirit jersey and it's absolutely beautiful and I love it. So I'm hoping that it is going to turn up here at Disney World so I can live in hope. I'm going to keep checking. Here is the new one again. I did see on Instagram, I think it was on Disney Food Vlogs Instagram, they have the matching bag for this. They don't have it right here in this store that I can see, but it's a very nice, sparkly, bright pink one. And a quick time check, we can make our next Genie Plus reservation in about 10 minutes time. And I should also mention that the bus this morning, from getting on the bus at the Wyndham to arriving here at Animal Kingdom was 30 minutes. So it's half the amount of time it took to get to Magic Kingdom. And there was only one stop picking up this morning as well. So it was a lot quicker. And this Alice in Wonderland lounge fly is new the last couple of days. It is very cute. I love the color and it is, $85 and the ears are new too. These are very extra. These are $34.99. It looks like these are part of a main attraction collection and this tells you all of the different attractions that are going to be included or have been included I would say. I think we saw the pirate ones last time which was series two and this is series three so I'm not sure how often they're going to come out. There is also this pin as well and the pin is $29.99 but it doesn't look as if they have the spirit jersey so we're going to exit for now because that was the main reason I just popped in here. So I've just made my next return time for the safari so the order we have things is navi river journey first then it will be the safari then it will be flight of passage later around five i think it was wasn't it something like that but now it's only about 10 past 10 so we've got plenty of time to just wander maybe do things in standby i'm going to go over to everest right now and see if we can ride that in single rider line if they still have one i am a tiny bit scared by everest but i'm going to face my fear hopefully it goes better than the uh, facing the fear in the butterfly tent the other day it's only in the morning but as you can see it is not busy here at animal kingdom yet the park's been open for a couple of hours though unless this is just a very low traffic area we're just coming from dino land direction walking towards everest and i'm not sure what we're hearing is this oh is this kite tails let's go see i've heard it's quite funny at the end when the kites are kind of done with their little turn so let's go and check this out and it is a slow day for kite tails that is for certain Oh my gosh, he's just like wiped out on the steps. <laughs> okay, I only caught the end of it and I don't think this is necessarily the intended reaction, but it does make you just wanna laugh because the kite things do look quite funny and then at the end when it just kind of like drops, um, I don't think that laughter is necessarily what they were going for. But hey, the purpose of being at Disney is to laugh and have fun and it definitely achieved that. So yeah, it was funny, it was good. I just spoke to a cast member as I was walking past the Nemo show because there seemed to be activity. Apparently it's a brand new show and there will be shows today, but they're in rehearsals. So it just may or may not happen. So perhaps later if we're passing, we could try and see. I don't know, it'd just be a case of being in the right place at the right time. But I think it officially starts tomorrow, he was saying. Okay, we're just over by Everest and I'm gonna have a little sip of drink. I don't want a repeat of yesterday. Make sure you are drinking water especially if you're here in the summer soda does not count neither does coffee water 
otherwise you can end up feeling quite unwell. I actually took this teeny tiny little bottle from the plane and I've been refilling it because it's the perfect size to fit in a small bag, like a lounge fly or something. So top tip if you're flying from the UK with BA, steal this little bottle because it's perfect. Okay, we need to go this way apparently. This is the lightning lane over there but we are gonna go for single rider. I'm a tiny little bit nervous, I can't lie. You know, I'm not a huge coaster person. I do get a bit scared. Okay, the single rider line took exactly 10 minutes, so not long at all. That was the easy part. <laughs> makes me nervous. Um, having ridden the new Guardians ride the other day, I find Everest more intense than that because Guardians is like so smooth. It's a really new attraction. So although it's a roller coaster, it's just very, very smooth. Everest is a little more like intense and jolty because it's like an older ride. So when it like stops, it like throws you forward and like stuff like that, if that makes any sense. Um, but it was really fun. I'm glad I did it. Definitely, it is a good ride. And if you can push yourself a little bit, if you are a ride wimp like I am, I definitely am. Um, but if you push yourself a little bit sometimes, you can build up slowly and um, it is really fun doing these rides for sure. But yeah, that bit when it does the big drop, that does scare me a little, I can't lie. <laughs> okay, I definitely need a drink now, a soft drink to be clear. It wasn't that bad, it wasn't that frightening that I need an alcoholic beverage. So let's see what we can find. And on the water there, in between Kite Tail shows, we have Chippendale and Goofy. I believe these are called flotillas. I couldn't remember what they were called last time. And they've got their cute dinosaur costumes on. And as we're coming by here, we have to stop and see if we can see the monkeys. Monkeys are my favorite animal. I love them. Quite often they are inside their little house there because it is kind of hot. Nope, they are nowhere to be seen today, but I can't say I blame them. Ah, drink waller. That is what we need. We need both a drink and some shade. Hopefully we can find both here. I won't be dining at Yak Nessie today because obviously we are trying to be a bit more budget so we're going to explore different dining options today. But I do love it. If you ever get a chance to go there it's great. So I'm just having a little sit down. There's this undercover area which is over by the bird show which is a really nice place to sit. I have my little water that I'm having and I did also get a slushy just because it's very hot which was 5.71. Add that to today's total of what we spent. And I just feel so completely rejuvenated today, which just goes to prove if you do have a bad day and you're just not feeling very well, don't try and push it. Like going home yesterday, having a really long night of sleep, which I did, like I slept loads, I just feel 100% better today. So yeah, that is definitely something to bear in mind, as is drinking water. I can't say it enough at this time of year, particularly. When I was here in like December and November, times like that, you do still need to, but it is no way near as hot and humid so yeah just don't forget because it's so easy to just be walking from one thing to the other eating like salty food and just being in the heat and it's very easy to get to drinking water also sitting here you see all the flotillas go past i think i've seen four or five just while i've been sat here so if you can get one of these tables or like step out over the side there you can see them all go by so i've just been looking at the schedule for the day and because i have genie return times one after the other around lunchtime, i think i'm going to get something to eat now or i'm going to mobile order it anyway and then head over in that direction and i think i'm going to check out restaurant Tesaurus today for a change and see what they have there i'm still nowhere near this restaurant but you can actually place your order and then just click the button to say you've arrived when you get there i'll show you that but you can do your order ahead of time so that you're not just stood outside the restaurant trying to do it while i'm just sat here now it's easy for me to do it and then we'll make a slow walk over there and have some lunch otherwise i fear i may not get time to and i haven't had breakfast today either so i'm ready to just put this order through i thought i'd show you what i've gone for which is waltz main street fried chicken sandwich which sounded nice and a wild berry lemonade and the total including tax is 17.33 for today's lunch okay we're on the move again to take a slow walk over to pick up this mobile order i probably won't do the bird show again this time i did it last time it didn't really translate in the vlogs because 
because you just kind of couldn't really see so I did include bits of it but yeah it's not really something I can show you very easily but it's worth doing it was quite fun to watch and when you're here in person you can really see the birds a lot better than I can show you in the vlog and again just to kind of update on the crowds it feels fairly easy walking around it doesn't feel too crowded or anything like that I've just never really seen anything like what we had in January and February of this year 2022 because you could be watching this years ahead yeah it really was so crazy but this is not too bad at all and I think I'm gonna have to ask where Kevin is because I haven't seen her and I definitely need to know oh there's a one of the parrots in the tree up there I wondered who was being so noisy I did wonder if it might be Kevin for a minute I've arrived here at Restaurantosaurus the sunlight is making it very difficult for me to show you stuff on the phone but now we're here you can just click to say that you've arrived and they will be prepping your order. When this screen turns purple, then you can head inside to collect your order. And there we go. Once your screen looks like this, you can head inside. So for mobile order, you just walk right up, whereas there is a line over here, which is for people ordering. So it's way quicker to do mobile order for sure. Here is my Waltz chicken sandwich, Main Street chicken sandwich, I should say. It did say that it had pickles, which I didn't want. Um, so I was going to pick them out, but I actually don't see them. Maybe they're not in there. Oh, they're on the bottom. Sneaky. I'm going to have to remove these. It didn't give me the option to remove them on the order. And then this was my, was it wild berry lemonade? Okay, I'm at the midway point with this burger and I have to say it tastes way better than it looked. It looked kind of underwhelming, just very average when I picked it up. It's actually really nice. And I'm going to try this drink, although I didn't get a straw, which was a bit of a mistake. But that's really good. If you don't like fizzy drink, that is very, very nice. It's kind of got a... It's almost a bit watermelony, but I don't think it is watermelon. Or was it? I don't know. It's really good though. Okay, I'm all done in there. I've had to bring my drink to go, obviously, because I haven't got all day to sit there drinking it and I'm not done with it. And I noticed somebody on the next table had the same thing as me. And they've taken... Yes. Oh, are you? Hi. This is Alicia. <laughs> Do you have a chat? What's your channel? Oh, Alicia Monet. Alicia Monet. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I had to bring this with me. And the person at the next table had taken one bite out of their Waltz chicken burger and left the whole thing. So, I don't know, maybe it was just me who liked it. I thought it was nice, but clearly the person at the next table didn't. And now I'm heading over to Pandora because it's time to, well, almost time to ride a Navi River journey. Oh, good heavens. There she is, Kevin. Oh, we've been waiting for you, Kevin. Oh, we love Kevin so much. I'm so happy. That was everything that has just made my day. I love Kevin so much. And I just want to say hi to AJ and Josh as well. I met AJ. I didn't actually meet Josh, but I know you watch as well, Josh. Say so hi to you. And I guess the fact that we saw Kevin back there means that she now walks around rather than just being in one location, unless she was just walking back from her location. That is unconfirmed. I'm not 100% sure on that one. And there's quite a few people here taking pictures at the tree, as always. Ways. if you try and get that first thing in the morning you can get some really good pictures here without anyone in the background so I just ran into AJ and Josh again so I did meet Josh so hi to you and also Robin so hello thank you for saying hi and I love having little chats with you guys it's always so lovely for me hearing about your trips and I just love having a chat so always stop if you see me and someone else just waved hello so if that was you hi to you as well and I also just met Catherine and David there as well so Pandora is definitely the place to be I've just met about four of you in one go was it three or four somebody waved I don't know it's all going on but now we are on our way over to Navi River Journey and we have a standby of 90 minutes here I do love this ride it is beautiful but 90 minutes is quite a long wait but it does always have a fairly long wait this one and I meant to say one of the reasons that I show myself scanning in I do get a lot of people asking what magic band I'm wearing each day so that way you can see which one I've got on oh the Florida water ride smell I love it it's like the chlorine smell if you know you know if you know say yes I get it in the comments but it immediately screams Disney vacation whenever you smell that smell it does for me anyway <laughs> Okay, we've just exited. I think it's raining. Let's grab the umbrella. Or maybe it isn't. I can't decide if it's water spray or rain. I'm gonna get the brolly out on standby. I literally like to have it in my hand just in case because it can downpour all of a sudden in Florida. That was amazing. It was quite weird though. I don't know whether I was misremembering things 
whether I've had too much sun, whether I was imagining it, or I was in a different, like I sat in the front of the boat and I normally sit in the back, but it felt like a different experience. I felt like I could see things better. I don't know, it was really strange, but I liked it. I feel like I saw everything in more detail, so that was really good. And I have a little bit of time now until the safari, because I managed to get onto Navi River Journey right at the beginning of my window. So we'll just have a little wander around here, take some photos perhaps and then make our way down to Kilimanjaro safaris, which I'm very excited for. We have 115 minute wait time for flight of passage, which is fairly common for that ride. I would say that's pretty much average. Okay, so I've taken some photos and I think we'll head this way, which is the kind of side entrance I talk about, because we want to go to Kilimanjaro Safari. This will bring us out perfectly where we want to be by Tusker House. So it is just after 1 p.m. The heat at this point is no joke. I'm walking over from Pandora to here. I'm in my little um, special shady spot, which is just to the side, opposite kind of Tusker House. And there's chairs back here and tables. A lot of people don't know about it, so normally you can find one. And I've just taken my glasses off a minute I thought I would just talk about my makeup in the pub. So one of the most asked questions I get, how do I keep my makeup on? How does it not just melt off my face? Um, it's a couple of things. One is this, if I didn't have my fan and I was sweating even more, that would be an issue. Um, I honestly don't do anything to my makeup. So how it looks now, this is exactly what I did this morning. I don't, I don't do anything. I just generally don't have time. And when I go in the restroom, I just kind of brush my hair and go. I do brush my hair, that is one thing. Um, but other than that, I don't do anything to my makeup. I'm gonna do a special video on it to show you exactly what I use. And yeah, this is kind of what it looks like in the middle of the day when it is sweaty and boiling hot. Okay, break time is up. It did rain the tiniest little bit just for a few seconds. It kept stopping and starting. And now we are headed over to the safari. It looks like there's about to be a performance here. These guys are awesome. If you get a chance to catch one of the performances they do. And there's currently an 80 minute standby wait for this. So again, glad we've got our return time. And my return time was between two and three. I just scanned in at 1.57 just to see what happened and it let us in, so definitely at least three minutes early. If you glance over to your left, you're gonna see some of the Nile crocodiles. Ooh. Now they can live up to 40 years old. They grow up to 16 um, feet long and weigh about 500 pounds. They're the tallest animals in the world, reaching heights of 18 to 20 feet tall. When they're born, they're about six feet. Now, the giraffe's full-time hobby is pretty much eating all day long, as they'll only sleep for 30 minutes a day. Stop right here so you guys can get a good look. Also, whenever you see them flapping their ears back and forth like that, it's helping to keep their body temperatures down. About And just like those elephants, the white rhinos also have very sensitive skin. So you'll see them rolling around in the mud. Also, if you look closely, they have these little hairs on their ears. That's to help amplify sound. Unfortunately, reserves are, like these are about the only places left to find the bok to bok. They don't fly, but they do run 40 miles an hour. They use their large wings to help steer and change their direction as they are running. So that was awesome as always. And in terms of how many animals you see, my conclusion, it really depends. You see certain animals at different times of day. So in the morning, we saw the lions. They were like really active. That was last time. This time, the lions weren't around at all, but we saw others. So I would say try and do it several times on your trip if you can at different times of day. And then hopefully you'll see everything at one point or another. Okay, I'm just grabbing myself a slushy. Last time you saw me, I was just getting off the safari and I've just done a live stream for Patreon and now I'm boiling so I'm gonna grab a water the Dasani is 350 the smart water is 550 I do not need my water to be intelligent so we'll be getting one of these so I have a slushy which is a mix of all the flavors but it's not super frozen so they've all kind of gone into a strange dark mess but that's fine not too frozen is actually probably quite nice for what I need at the moment and for every drink that I get like this today I have vowed to also have one of these just so that I do not get dehydrated or anything and I also did get a snack and I got this so let me just get it out of the wrapping I think I might save this and eat it later because I don't 100% want it now but I really did want to try it and I want to show you it now in case it gets messed up in my bag and it is a strawberry crispy cereal treat so I think it has like different types of crunchy cereal then it's got this strawberry stuff it's got strawberry stuff on chocolate drizzle this looked really fascinating and I felt the need to get it so I will let you know what that's like later on and the total for these items was 11.72 with my annual pass discount okay I've had a little extended break it is now 5.40 I've still got my uh, snack here I didn't eat it yet but it's 
take it back with me. But now it is time to head over to Pandora and ride Flight of Passage, which I love so much. Even though I love the new Guardians ride and I do think that that is now the best ride they have here at Disney, Flight of Passage still has my heart. I love it so much. I have to do it every time I come to the Animal Kingdom. So we're gonna go and do that. And then I may potentially head out for the day, I think. I don't think there's anything else I desperately need to see. We might just have a little browse in the merchandise stores on the way out. I know you guys love that. Just follow around the railing and fill the room. That's right. Please fill all the way in and stand on your assigned number. Flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Mai. Okay, that was everything. It confirmed that is my favorite ride still. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. It is great, but Flight Passage is still my absolute favorite. Haunted Mansion favorite attraction. Flight of Passage favorite ride, definitely. So they have some merch here, five years on Pandora. So I guess it's been open five, has it been open five years? That's crazy. I didn't think it had, it obviously has though. And they have this cup as well, which is really nice. It's 22.99. Ah, so here are some more items that we were looking at earlier from the main attraction collection. So this is the Space Mountain Mickey by the looks of it. And this is the Pirates one. And of course now the Alice one is number three, which has just come out. I doubt they're moving many of these at the moment. It is entirely too hot for a sweatshirt. This is very cute. This is an AirPod case, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah, AirPod case, but it's the Wilderness Explorer backpack. I love that. It's 21 99 Okay, time to exit. It looks like everyone's got the same idea and I should be just about at the right time for the bus, fingers crossed. Okay, so we're back here by the ride chair pickup and the bus stop is just ahead there. So hopefully within the next 10 minutes, the bus will come. So when you actually get here, it's not entirely obvious which is the right one. So this bus has just pulled up, but I went and asked and this is for Swan and Dolphin. So yeah, I guess each time one comes, we'll just have to ask if it's the right one. Okay, I'm pretty certain it's this white one that is just coming up now. So it's actually 40 minutes past the hour by the look of it. And I'm back in the room. So the bus journey took around 20 minutes. Once I was actually on the bus, it was easy, very, very quick. It just felt like, you know, getting a Disney bus. The part that kind of wasn't great was the fact that the buses are only like once on the hour. So it's 40 minutes past the hour. And because I just missed one, I then had to wait a whole nother hour, which I didn't really want to. I would have liked to have just gone. And of course the Disney buses are just a bit more frequent than that, especially at park closing. I think they're quite good at, you know, turning things over and getting people out of there. So yes, I would say the off-site buses are just slightly more difficult, but not to any major degree, if that makes sense. It's just the fact that you have to maybe time things a bit better. And one thing I've taken to doing when I get back in the evenings is just going to Joffrey's and asking for a cup of hot water, which I obviously don't need to pay for. And then I can just make my biscuit brew. I've got my milk in the room. And then I don't think I need to bother going to Walmart or Target. It was only really to get things like water and stuff to make my tea. And if I can do that, then I don't see the point really. I would just end up spending unnecessary money that I don't need to spend. I did buy a Powerade though, because I just like to have something in the room and that was 467. So that's the final thing to go on to today's total. And that's pretty much gonna be it for this vlog. I would imagine it's gonna be a reasonably long one because it was yesterday and today in one vlog. So who knows how long this has been. Well done if you've got all the way to the end. If you have, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. That does help other people to find the videos. And as always, just a huge thank you for watching these vlogs, for liking, commenting, subscribing, you guys are the best and I just love sharing these vlogs with you so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye okay, we're just gonna go for it oh my gosh it's the surface water more than anything we're just gonna go for it otherwise I could be there all day it has actually brightened up a little bit but the rain is still really coming down